I think that she is the epitome of what the Sunny Blue Beagle War and Champ is all about. She has dedicated her life and career to developing character in students and athletes and is amazing in how she does it. Her passion and love of tennis instilled in her by her mom and family and coaches created in her such a strong desire to pass it forward to so many athletes, adults, young and old. Her impact on kids and others, her colleagues, has been so great and far-reaching. I don't think I've really been around uh, any other coaches who are as competitive as Coach Acton. She wants to win every single event that she's in, but I think the piece in, the, in her leadership that she demonstrates is really how to pursue that with character and with, with integrity, how to, how to grow as a person. Um, and, and then the, really the, the toughest lesson is how to react um, to a win or to a loss. And I think she uh, demonstrates that it's the whether it's tennis or any other sport, it's about the personal growth that we go through in pursuing a win. And that personal growth doesn't end at the moment the competition is over, but uh, it continues afterwards. She was absolutely instrumental, I think, to everyone's growth on the team. She took girls from all different walks of life and tennis ability and was able to form a great community of, of players that came together really for her. And, and I think it was a lot of people's first time being on a, playing on a team, especially as tennis players, a lot of times it's an individual sport. So for me, it was my first team experience and playing for her all four years made it absolutely, you know, an incredible experience that was really kind of trade for she's, she's highly respected across the state um, by not only because of her amazing tennis program, but because of her high level of integrity as a coach. Looking back on our relationship and knowing that who I am today was so much due to her impact on me as just a person and instilling values and inspiring everyone that she teaches and coaches and trying to make them into better people. I think that's probably her biggest legacy. Tennis has really been something that she's used as a platform to speak into. Uh, people's lives, but the investment into each person's uh, life is, is where she's left uh, lifelong impacts.